Well, good morning, gentlefolk, and welcome to the next episode of Let's Play Crusader Kings 2 as what was once Wessex. Uh, we are now part of Scotland, and this is Wessex here. So, I have got my man fabricating claims there, thinking I can take Wessex back, but I've had a bit of a rethink, and I'm wondering if it's time to declare war on Scotland again. There's a peasant revolt up there. Uh, he is at war with a lot of people. Um, I don't know if I have to keep fighting against Mercia. I can't declare against Scotland at the moment because I have troops raised. King Jalmar of Scotland, who absolutely hates me. Uh, we must have a valid castle spell. I don't have one. We have units in enemy provinces. Uh, so we cannot declare war if we have raised. Army levies, King Helmar the first of Scotland. Must be our liege or a vassal of our liege. Yeah. So I don't know whether to carry on against Mercia. Well, I'll, <coughs> I'll re-siege Ox. What do I? <laughs> oh, I'll carry on as we are. In a minute. And... Think about attacking Scotland. Mayor Odo. 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 <laughs> now favours Count Rajid as the heir of County of Winchester. Okay. My grandson. That's his son? No, that's Bedware. So, grandson of whom? No. Can't read it. Yeah, okay. Well, whoever. Meherbert, an F5 is Kent Oh dear. Rajid. What's this? No heir to your dynasty. Oops. Um. Um, this game could be over rather short, Lee. I'm going to nominate Gunhilda again. I haven't got to assassinate him, have I? Do I have to assassinate him? Because that would be bad. Well, he's 15. Um, King of Britain, no. Because hmm. I'm, I'm starting to get old. I'm 63, so it's going to have to happen soon. And in fact, I'm going to do it now. I don't care. Yes, and auto invite plots. Anybody? Anybody? Godi Ikra now favours Agatha as the heir to the county of Winchester. Now favours Agatha. Uh, they're all going against me. Oh, um, I'm going to favour her now for a simple reason. Does that. No. Whew! Okay. I'm still going to attempt to assassinate him though. Oh! L stop it! Nobody coming in on this plot? Anybody wavering? Nobody's wavering? Well, we'll see what happens. So this game could be over very quickly. This could be a very short episode.
My liege, I write to you with bad news from Winchester. My efforts to squeeze some... Ah, well, those troublesome peasants. Uh, we have more things to worry about. It's all your fault. Irritated. Rise levy, short rain, foreigner, infidel. You know what? I'm absolutely. F I can't. No. Can't assassinate you while I attempt to assassinate the other. Ah, oh, my grandson. <laughs> um. Yeah. And I can't change the laws. Oh, big army. Who's this? Army of Rodrigo from Navarra. Okay. I'm going to attempt to try to finish this siege first. Hugh? Hugh? <laughs> Accepted King Hjalmar, the first of Scotland's peace office offer. Hugh of Moray, okay, so the peasant revolt's over. I think. Well, one of them is. He's not sieging. He did not have enough troops. Army women come. Victory in Reading. Oh, he has been engaged. Excellent. I've got to keep me on this intrigue. Nobody, no. Hmm. Yes. Well, he's trying hard. I'm going to reinforce. Um, is he is he coming in with the troops? No. Just too late. Wow. Who's this? Army of Norway. Okay, perhaps I'm not going to be uh, attacking the King of Scotland if I ever get the chance. Just getting a savage cheap middle set. Norway. Oh, he's at war with with. Uh, he's just at war with Mercia. <laughs> okay. Um.
how how do we do this I don't think that would work. <laughs> oh look, everybody is siege in Oxford. I can't go on forever. I'm 63. Um... It's not going to happen, is it? Victory in Buckingham. And we're still sieging. How many... And this is just taking it back. He's at 100% dude, you can declare peace. Nope, he's at Mons. What? He's escaped. He's escaped from prison. You're at war against Mercia, and so are you. Now you're all independent. What about you? You're not. No. Where are you going? I'm going to go and siege Warwick. Because I like Warwick. See, now, if this was EU4, I'd be detaching the siege. You can't do this <laughs> in Crusader Kings. Um, well, he's rushing a siege there. He. He's rushing a siege there. There's a, some kind of Nordic battle going on there for. Um, I offered Asa to hand the buzzard over to the falconer, but was careless enough to forget to put on its hood, and then lost my grip on the Jessies as the bird flew to freedom. She will kill me for this. Asa's opinion of Countess Leola changes by minus ten. Well, she hates me anyway. And they've peaced out. Okay, so let's get these disbanded. As uh, Charlotte's a guardian. Educate child there it is. Um, I'm not going to do it. Um, drunkard. <laughs> well, yeah. Lustful, uh, zealous, trusting, shy, humble, scholar. There you go. That's the person who really hates me, so...
Age 48, Hodge used his home fruit of Albany died after a period of illness. Okay. So nobody. No. Board's been released. Um, I thought I had retinues. No. See that? Hmm. Mm. Are we at war at now? King Mal doing the Liberator, King of Ireland, heir to the Kent. God, dude. I still can't declare war. Must have a valley cast a spell, eh? Yeah, Scotland. Must be our liege or a vassal of our liege. He's my liege. Is he not? Y'all control of Albany. Oh. I can declare war on him for independence. Um. Yaldum of Albany. So this bit here. Hmm. Could be a last throw of the dice. This could be interesting last throw of the dice for the game. Let me uh, let me quick save it. Because that's what we do, we quick save. Give it a couple of days. Right. I suppose you'll call all your allies in, but, you know. Declare war for independence. And yes, I will call in my allies. And I shall raise everybody up. Everybody can meet up there. We'll go out in a blaze of glory. We could unfortunately not join your war at this time. Thanks, son. The Archival of Albany has called of Argyle. Thanks. Whoa ho 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 Well that's the Irish War. If I can avoid that, that'll be fine. So just wait for these last few bots to turn up. Oh! Mm-hmm. Right, let's look and see what damage we can do. Hopefully the Scottish can knock some of them out before we actually get there. King Mail doing the Liberator has been imprisoned. Mm -hmm. 
Now, who we got in chart? Let's have a look. 14, 9, and... 9, and there was another 9. Where's he going? Okay, now I'm just going to pull back for a second because there's a big army coming there and I might have enough for some, some mercenaries quickly. So this peace offer has been released from prison because there's a big army coming my way there. Right, so let's hire these mercenaries. Is it ready for hire? Yes. I'm not going to be able to keep them around for very long. But if I can just beat down that army... The intrigue again. Anybody wavering? Not that I've got the money to bribe you now, to be fair, so. Nah. Right. This way. Oh, he's going this way. Come on. Come on. Oh, well done. So where's he going? Off to Middlesex. Keep an eye on my funding. Victory again, and now he's off to Winchester and Surrey. Um. Okay, that's him beating down. No, where, where are you going? You go to Winchester. Oh, is this 100%? I could offer peace and enforce demands. Yes! The Second World of Winchester Independence has ended. Kentish Earl of Winchester has won. Okay. So, what does that mean? That means I've incorporated him back into Scotland. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay. That's, uh, that never quite went to plan. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, Basil Krasteros has arrived in your court. Okay. Oh, this is not going to end well. Um, Marshal. I have a better Marshal here. Why isn't he Marshal? I have a better steward as well. No. Nine. Yeah, and I have a better court chaplain. Right, so you can train troops, you can collect taxes, and you can research culture tech. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Well, the King of Scotland should like me better now. Oh. We have decided to grant you the title of 
Um, Drot Sexy? Hmm. Okay. Who's this then? Earl Born Wolf of Dunbar. Okay. So where are you from? There. Okay. Well, I'm glad I'm whatever it is. <laughs> but I don't think it's going to do me much good. He's just going to get battered. I don't think that war will be around for very long. Oh, look! Worcester's independent. And so is Leicester. Hmm. So these people don't like me a lot because of the levies being raised. In fact, they absolutely despise me. So that's not doing my vassals much good. Can I not give you honorary titles? Nope. What about you? Nope. We are struggling. <coughs> Shame! Benwell Frisch accepted King Jamal of Scotland's police officer. Officer. Officer? Police officer. I should, I should think so. so. Actually, the King of Scotland is doing quite well, actually, to keep all his holdings intact and such. I should be having my chance on these, really. You're just independent, aren't you? You've got a lot of allies. Better Kingdom of... <laughs> Hmm. Okay. <coughs> An ally in the King of Scotland. Hmm. Occupied by or Edwig of Shrewsbury. The Pitch King of Oh Oh, we're at war with with Wessex. King of Scotland has declared Scottish claim on Wessex. Okay. So I can move my Chancellor out of there. Chancellor, come on home. I've got to raise the military up again. I don't really want to do it, to be fair.
That's it. 891. <sighs> Let's wait for some of these Scottish troops to arrive. I thought I had more. I forgot about my Cornish kinfolk. Let's just hope so. Yes, more troops is always good. Whoa, 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 whoa. Go through Dorset. Cute. Okay, we will go through Somerset. <sighs> Victory in Gloucester. And we're not the leader of the siege. Well, if I'm not going to be the leader of the siege, I'm not taking part, because I need to get my troops down. Thank you, and disband. Still nobody? No. Everybody really likes him. I wonder if he's liked or disliked. Oh, he's well liked, isn't he? Actually, I wonder what his intrigue's like. Where is he? There he is. Meh. Hmm. Part of Norway, I take it. Yep. Oh, the lady almost ran me down as I entered the hall. Tear force, she told me that my kinswoman, Egwin, Egwin, had insulted her again. But my dear lady, you are fat. <laughs> Honest, yeah. Praise her honesty at the court. Uh, yeah. Honesty has its bounds. Loses race. Punish her for her insults. 50% chance you are going deceitful. 40% chance of going honest. What does Deceitful give you? Mm, diplomacy... Mm, uh, oh, I'll punish her. She's going Deceitful. I'm not particularly fussy because I don't think I'm going to be around for much longer. Mm -hmm. Alan of Portella has arrived at your court. Well, not too sure how long he's going to be around. Well, I see Mercy has managed to pick itself up again. <coughs> Do you know what? This this intrigue thing isn't going to happen. I'm going to stop this plus and I'm going to... I'm... Yep, cancel. And I'm going to go after his dad. Anybody? Anybody? Oh! My kinswoman 
Equin Egwin has bitten by slate this morning. The brave little fool keeps seeking out danger. That's my lass. Going to try No, that's fine. She's going to try Brave, brave's good. You'll come. So auto invite. Come on, I'll have the auto invite thing on. Yeah? Oh, do I have to do it by hand? People are wavering. Queen of Britain. Oh, the holy man came to court today to talk about matters of faith, but it soon became clear he held rather unorthodox views. Being a zealous defender of the church at all times, I believe I did the right thing when I gave the order to imprison the blasphemous pagan who dared criticise my faith and my church. That's Vault. I was still shaking with rage at the pagan's blasphemous words when Arthur took the opportunity to whisper good work in my ear. Thank you, I really needed that. Splendid. So you'll come. Good man. I don't know why I'm having to do this by manual. And you'll come. Some people are wavering. Send a gift. Wow. But I will do it because things are desperate, desperate times and all that good stuff. Okay. 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 Anyone else? Send a gift. Well, this better happen soon. <laughs> I've been saying that for a while now, actually. <laughs> Godi Folk of Salisbury is an intended Temple of Salisbury from Godi Eric of Salisbury, okay. 868 Godi Eric of Salisbury, yeah. Anyone else? A couple of people here wavering. Go to Fort now favours Agatha is the Oh that's gotta be good. Countess Mood of Dorset kept in Okay, so that's now part of Scotland again. So we're still one shy. I don't think I've got enough no. I haven't got enough money to send you a gift. But we're over a hundred percent. We're over hundred and fifty percent. King Halbert of Scotland revoked the County of Somerset from Countess Maud of Dorset. Okay. While co conspirator at Dungal has assembled a party of mercenaries who will ambush King Irwin of Scots Holland, I am assured he will not survive the encounter. Right, approve the plan. Dungal, my co conspirator has sent word that a massive pit of manure has been prepared under the floorboards. Well, that's. Uh, yeah, well, two plots are always better than one. Yes. 
That's what I say. And he has my of Scotland revoke the County of Dorset. Okay. Failure! We'll have to try again. Failure! Oh, the plan looked good on paper. Oh, okay, gentle folk. Well, um, I'm going to call it a halt on this episode. Um, there may only be one more. It may be very short. I was hanging on thinking perhaps it was going to end this episode, but it hasn't. Oh, we're planning to kill the King of Britain, eh? <laughs> Was a big, always a good adventure. That's two failures. Um, and yeah, so uh, as per normal, I thank you all for watching. You all take care. You all look after yourselves. And I shall bid you farewell. And goodbye. <laughs>